Well, I've known Neil now for about seven years. And so his four years at Central Michigan almost um, perfectly coincided with my four years at Miami. And so I had um, an, a respect and admiration for him from the outside looking in. I think um, when you have the probably the best recruiter in the business uh, working side by side with you and you know I think Nate is our director of recruiting does a great job but you know Matt Kozanuk, uh, Gary Kernin, Gavin McLeod, um, all of these people that have been involved with the program uh, have had a major contribution in regards to making you see a place that people feel that they can come and get better. I was on, I was obviously on the men's staff for a year um, while they were here and, and I remember I remember watching Neil have the team sprint to everything that they did and not just during the sessions but running to practice, running to the weight room, to the locker room and he's like if you're not running you're not you know you're not coming with us like this is the new mentality this is the new you know kind of uh, DNA of who we are and it was being on the outside and being on the men's side being able to, to watch that development happen and watch that transition, it motivated me uh, to kind of hit this new new level of uh, effort and consistency and maturity. And well, I think a strength of our culture, not just this year, but from, from the day that Neil took over, is just sort of the resiliency that we have as a team and as a program. And uh, our culture, our environment, uh, and everything that we do um, has really merit imaged um, really what our goals and aspirations are. Uh, and that's that sort of championship culture, that culture of excellence. We, we, we spoke a lot about what was important to our program, what are our foundation, our pillars, and we came up with the, the culture of excellence and the three things that, that make that up, the relentless grind, uh, fierce loyalty, and, and striving to surpass. And so that was cemented in the spring, it went up in our locker room on a board, and we re reinforced it in the fall with the, with the new players, and it's something that, that I think really propelled us to that next level. You know, I think it's the player's mentality, the coach's mentality, the relationships with the coaching staff, with the players, and then amongst themselves and the staff, like everybody picks up on that. And, and when you have that right balance of people trusting and, and loving each other while still pushing each other, like you, can, you can't miss with that. You're only going to continue to have success. I think everything rises and falls on leadership. Um, and, and I think those two things have played a major part in our success over the last two and a half years.